Encapsulation simply means hiding a specific property or a method and make them only accessible within the function constructor. This may be really useful. Sometimes you don't want to expose some variables to your users. For example, if you have a variable that stores the score, you don't want the user to cheat. If he can access that variable, he can cheat, you can change it. Or sometimes you have a variable or a method that is internal. Your methods will use it, but you don't want the user to be able to use it. And for this, we use encapsulation. Here, when you assign the variable using this.name or this.email or this.age, when we create an object using the function constructor, we had access to all of these properties. We had access to all of these properties and methods. We can get or set the name property, the email and the age. And also we can call the greet method. Let's go to the object and create a score variable. This that score and it will start from zero. Then let's create a score increment method and score decrement method. Now the score variable is not private. The user can access it, the user have access to it and can change it. From the console he can change it by simply doing player one that score and chooses any score that he likes. And now he can cheat. So how we can fix this? The answer is to hide the score variable. We will not assign it to the object itself directly. We will just declare it here var score equal to zero. Now the player cannot access the score variable. So let's create a method print score. We can log the score variable, but the user can also use the score increment method and we print the score. We see that he could change the score. We can also make these two methods private. Now these two methods became private and now we can create another method play that controls and calls the score increment and score decrement. For example, if he wins, we call the score increment, else we call the score decrement. And that's how you make methods and properties private.